early 1900s, Marion, Ohio. As a young girl, Nan Britton begins developing a crush on her father's friend, Warren G. Harding. As she grows older, it gets a little weird. She covers her walls with pictures of Harding from local papers and magazines, and as a teenager, she begins hanging around his office, hoping to catch a glimpse of him as he walks home from work. Naturally concerned, Nan's father, Dr. Samuel H. Britton, has the awkward conversation with Harding about his daughter's infatuation and asks him if there's any chance he might talk to her and perhaps convince her to cut it out and find someone her own age. Side note, Harding is 30 years her senior. At Dr. Britton's request, Harding does have the chat with Nan, telling her she'll find the real man of her dreams someday, only two years later when she becomes legal, say, F it, I'm in. According to Nan in her 1927 memoir, The President's Daughter, or what's now considered the first ever kiss and tell book, she and Harding began a passionate love affair, one that continued throughout his presidency until his sudden death in 1923. The book produced two great allegations against Harding. One, he and Nan had sex in a coat closet in the executive office of the White House while the Secret Service waited patiently outside, keeping people away. We've never heard of that before. <laughs> Two, Harding fathered Nan's only child, Elizabeth Blazing, who was born in 1919. Because the book was released in 1927, after many of Harding's other political scandals were uncovered, CC the Teapot Dome, a portion of the public completely believed Nan's claims. The problem was, there were many who didn't, including Harding's own family, who claimed it was impossible for him to have fathered a child, as he was believed to be infertile due to a case of mumps he suffered as a child. But then, in 2015, almost 100 years after Elizabeth Blazing was born, a strange thing happened. At least, strange by early 20th century standards. DNA testing. Like the many men who have appeared on Maury Povich, or the recent slew of serial killers who have finally been tracked down, Harding was about to get the same treatment. Wanting to finally gain some truth on the matter, one of Britain's grandchildren, James Blazing, teamed up with Harding's grandnephew, Peter Harding, to see if Britain and the 29th president really did have a love child together. With the help from Ancestry DNA, the DNA testing division of Ancestry.com, they were able to figure out that, Warren G. Harding, you are the father. And just like that, Harding joined the ranks of Thomas Jefferson, Grover Cleveland, and likely William Henry Harrison and John Tyler as presidents who fathered illegitimate children. What's your favorite bit of presidential history? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to check out the new season of Craft Brew Review on Rated Red's YouTube channel. I'm Christopher Pilney.